Hello, this is Bryn Antrim, one of the librarians at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to look at a database called College Source. If you're considering transferring to a four-year institution, this is a great place to start to gather your information, so that when you go to talk to your counselor about transfer, you have some good information about where you want to go and what you need to do in order to get there. In order to get to this database from the College homepage, click on Menu, and then click on the plus sign next to Student Support. This opens up a sub-menu, and the library is down between Counseling and Tutoring. Once there, in the middle of the page, notice the Ask a Librarian button. This is 24-7 Research Help. If you get stuck when you're doing your research at any time, you can use this button to chat with a librarian, and we will help you get unstuck. Heading into the databases, when you click on All Databases, it gives you a list of everything that the Santa Monica College Library subscribes to, alphabetically by title, with a short description of what's in each database. So as we scroll down to College Source, notice it features even more, actually, than 11,300 college catalogs, complete cover to cover, plus it also includes other very useful information. So when you click on this, if you're not currently logged in, it will ask you to log in with your Canvas login. There, I'm going to show you two searches. The first is, I want to transfer to UCLA. Tell me about that campus. When you search that out, it will give you quite a bit of information, starting with a PDF profile of the college. This is a list to all of the college catalogs going back several years, but you'll want to look at the most recent one available. Make sure that you don't look at extension, that you look at the one for the college itself. In addition, it will give you some key facts. This is actually a page from the UCLA transcript legend. And the nice thing about this is it tells you who accredits it, what sort of certification they have, what kind of degree requirements it has. So a little bit of information from the perspective of UCLA. Then under this little icon that looks like a house, this is an institution profile. And this is things like contact information. It can be weirdly difficult to find something like a street address to send a transcript to, um, or a phone number to contact people. It tells you what sort of degrees that it offers, whether it's on a quarter or semester system. And then it gives some other information, including who accredits it. Accreditors are very important um, because they give substance and support to the degrees that you earn at these institutions, because they say the professional organization for that discipline considers this to be a useful and exemplary degree. So if your university offers an accredited degree, it's better than if they don't. And here are all of the various accredited degrees that UCLA offers. Some internships as well. And then it gets down into tuition and fees, what it requires for admission, what it offers for financial aid and other programs. So this is a good sort of snapshot of the college starting off. It gives you a link to the website for the college. It gives you a map on how to get there, if we were open. And it allows you to view various degrees and see what it actually offers and what level it goes into on these various degrees that it offers. Now this is great if you have a college already in mind, but say you don't necessarily know where you want to go. You just know how much you can afford. Um, you want to stay in California, that sort of thing. So you can search by criteria. There we go. The search fields finally showed up. And that is a number of criteria that you can use to narrow your search to um, a bachelor's degree in whatever it is that you're interested, let's say history. I had this question just recently, so history is on my mind. So um, say I want a bachelor's degree in history, and you can pick more than one. 
that um, you wanted to be a public institution, you don't have to fill out every single field here. Um, it wants you wanted to be in California, and from an unrealistic number to an expensive number. And then when you search that out, it will give you all of the institutions in California that meet this search criteria that award bachelor's degrees in general history. It's a public institution in California and is less than $20,000 a year in undergraduate in state. Okay. So I can go through here and I can say, um, okay, all of these Cal States offer it. Several of these UCs offer it. Let's take a look at UC San Diego. And you can click on the profile and get the information exactly as you did for UCLA for this particular institution. You can get the catalogs. You can get the transcript key. You can go to their website directly from here. So College Source is a useful um, tool to get some background information and to um, one more tool in your toolkit to help you better prepare for transfer. If you have any questions, you can always ask us via the Ask a Librarian button on the library homepage. Good luck with your transfer aspirations and be well.